you feel that, that worship is really insulting Jesus, forgetting everything, how you feel tonight. But if you just exalt Jesus, there's a change in your atmosphere. Let me read to you Revelations 5, 8. It says here, And when he had taken the book, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, having each one a harp, which represents worship, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. So does that encourage you? That when you worship, you get the attention of the king. And when you pray, and you pray a lot, the bowls of heaven are filled. It's not just one bowl. It's golden bowls of heaven which represents our prayer. And as you know, in another part of scripture, we are told that Jesus is our high priest and he is making intercession for the saints. In Revelations 8, 3 verse to 5, it says, And another angel came and stood at the altar, holding a golden censer, and much incense was given to him that he might add it to the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints went up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and he filled it with the fire of the altar and threw it to the earth. And there followed peals of thunder and sounds and flashes of lightning and an earthquake. So maybe you've heard about other people, they don't want noise. They don't want their worship to be heard, to be, but you know what? In heaven, it's loud. They worship, they pray, we pray, Jesus prays, and we worship, and we praise Him. And it says, let the high praises of God be in our mouths, and the two-edged sword in our hands to execute the vengeance of our God. When you think about worship, you use your mouth. When you think about prayer, you use your mouth. So most of the time, it's voice activated. And when your voice is filled with faith, when your heart is filled with faith, and you worship the King of glory, and no trouble on earth will be lifted higher than King Jesus, you attract heaven to come down. So when you worship, it's all about the King. And there is a destination to worship. It's the throne room. And when you join the 24 elders and all the angels, the seraphim, the cherubim, and we join it, that's a lot of high praise, a lot of noise. And the Lord himself is praying. And as we pray and as we worship, and it becomes one in the presence of God, and one day the bowls of heaven will be filled and the angel will throw it down and God will begin to invade earth. And the answers to our prayers, the changes that need to be done, which we utter in prayer, it shall be done. Heaven on earth. So be encouraged. Be a walking prayer meeting wherever you go. When you wake up, talk to God. Pray about everything in your life. And you will be strengthened. And couple it with worship, which is all about Him talking about Jesus, what he has done, who he is, celebrating his victory so that you will bring heaven on earth. Bless the Lord.